We're eight games into the season, but already it's been a season of two halves, dominated by one player. So, why don't I tell you a tale of Belibi in today's episode of Homeless to Hero. <laughs> Hello, 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 people. Welcome to episode 8 of Homeless to Hero. In today's video, we've got a game against Sabine Republic, one of the very few teams we finished above in the league last season. So I'm feeling confident about that. But as I mentioned in the intro, we are only eight games into this season, but already it's a tale of two halves. And so let me tell you all about it as I tell you about Anne's Belibi. So if we go into our schedule, if it's ever going to load up, there it is eventually. And so, yep, you can see that the last game you guys watched was against Makassar. We did lose that 2-1, but I did say at the end of that video that there was hope that I had confidence from our performance in that game. And well, that confidence was very well placed because as you can see, we went on a free game winning run after that particular match. In fact, we got a 2-1 win against Al Sams and Belibi getting both of the goals, including our 90th minute winner, which was just a fantastic moment. And then after that, we got a 1-0 win against Al Saka again, and Belibi getting us the winning goal there. And then we got a 2-0 win over Nasser Mining. They scored a very early own goal. And then Yasser Magdi got us our second. And you could tell that Belibi's head was already out the door. Because he only got a 6.7. Didn't really do much in this game. And in fact, he did leave the club two days after this game. He left us to go to Telefonat Beni Suef Reserves and, and he has doubled his money for every week. He's now on £400 a week, whereas we could only afford £200. So, it is a reserve team he's playing for, but if he's doubling his money, you can kind of understand him going, I suppose. But, you can see... That that was our first one, two, three, four games. And then ever since then, we have played another four in the league and we've played one in the cup. And we have won zero. Absolutely sod all we have won since Belibi has left the club. We lost 3-1 to Suez FC. Lost only 1-0 to Smua. FC in the cup. They are in the top division, so holding them to just a 1-0 defeat. And we did have a couple of chances to try and nick an equaliser. So that was a very nice performance, but disappointing to go out. But even more disappointing is this result here. 6-0 against Tersana. And if that wasn't bad enough, that was in front of our biggest crowd since I've taken over at our home stadium. 10,375 people saw that absolute drubbing, that absolute humiliation there. Just every shot Tasana took on hit the back of the net, especially in the second half. It was only, what, 1-0 at half time and the second half was just a nightmare. So, yeah, moving on very quickly from that, I've changed the tactics a little bit. I'll show you that in a second. But since I have changed the tactics, we have drawn both games 2-2. The first one against Tanta, with Mohamed Ramadan and Mustafa El Sami getting the goals for us. And Kanar we drew 2-2 against, with Sarif Mansour, 
who is a player who I found in our reserves. I've brought him up and he scored obviously those two goals in one game for us. But he has also scored five in nine games for the reserves. So hopefully he can carry on that form. Now I have just promoted him to the first team full time. So we will see how he gets on in today's game against Sabine Republic. And also one other bit of transfer news. Transfer deadline has just been and gone. And we lost Mohamed Nassar, who we was playing on the right-hand side of midfield. And we was playing in the centre as well. So, unfortunately, we have lost him. He's gone to Al Nassar for £100 a week. I don't think we was paying him anything. So, again, can't really blame him for leaving. And also, we did almost lose our goalkeeper, Torfik. He had an offer come in for him. Can't remember who from now, but we moved quickly. We've given him a new contract. Torfik is now on £25 a week. And it does say here that his stats have been quite bad for this season. Conceding 16 from 8. That's not what you want from a keeper. But that is very heavily bumped up by that 6-0 drubbing we got. Other than that game, he has been very good. So I'm very happy to keep him. And so, I'm just going to go and pick the team. And I'll be back with you guys in a second when I've de decided on my final 11. See you in a second. Alright guys, here is the team. We've got Torfik in goal. Radran on the left of the defence. Sammy at right back. And in the middle, it's Magdi and Hani. And then in the midfield, we've got Rida on the left. Abdul Rahab is our advanced playmaker on support. Abdul Hamid is our defensive central midfielder. Ramadan is on the right-hand side. Both wingers are playing as inverted wingers now, just to try and keep the ball short, keep the passing nice and short-ish, and just be able to just control the ball a little bit more. And then up front, we have got Mustafa Al Saeed coming in for today's game. But the big decision I've had to make is Sharif Mansour. But I've decided to start him despite him playing yesterday for the reserves. He got a couple goals for the reserves yesterday. So hopefully he might be able to see out most of this game. As in fact, having just said that, I am just going to move our other striker onto the bench. Just in case Mansour does get a little bit knackered. And then this is the new tactic that we're going for. Hit early crosses, focus play down both the wings, passing directness as standard, tempo slightly higher. And then this is the big one that's really been helping us. Distribute the ball straight to the flanks. That has done really well for us in the last couple games. So hopefully it will do again today. And now let's get into the dressing room. All right, then here we are in the dressing room. Uh, we've got some different things we could say here, as opposed to usual. We're feeling very confident for this game. Oh, I, I don't really want to say all of these. These are all a little bit too confident f for my liking. Uh, I'm going to go... I want to say let's give the fans a performance. No reaction, as ever. Footballers, they don't care about the fans. At least if you ask FM... Because whenever I use that particular shout, never gets any reaction. But anyway, on to the game. I'm going to predict 2-0 win. 2-0 win. Kiamon Coca-Cola FC. First highlight of the game. And it's our goalie kicking the ball long. Tour feet goes long. Because our man get onto it. Nope. But it does only go to Ramadan. So we've got the ball again. Sammy. Forward to Ramadan. To Abdul Hamid. Abdul Wahab, and see, we are keeping the ball nicely. But again, it's been headed away. But Ramadan is going to get a second chance to do something with this. Goes to Wahab, and Sami with the cross, and Saeed! Saeed's shot has been blocked, and I think it was offside anyway. 
26 minutes gone. It's them with a corner ball. Hanny heads away easily under absolutely no pressure. And now Al Saeed with the ball. He needs his man to make a run here. It always played the ball. Mansour's in. Mansour is in. Oh, that's poor. That was very, very poor there. Well, that is the first half done and dusted. We have had six shots, two Sabines, six as well, two on target, two there, one. But RXG a little bit better than theirs at 0.58 against 0.23. They have had more of the ball though, which is a little bit disappointing. But I think we've looked a better team. I think I'm going to go a bit more attacking and hopefully we can pick up a couple goals in the second half. I'm going to go, I'm not happy with your performance. Try and fire these boys up. One person is motivated and our youngster, Mansour, who played in the reserves yesterday, is nervous. Not what I wanted to happen. Let's see if I can go attacking and let's see if I can go hands on hips. Uh, there's a lot more to come from you. Now Mansour's motivated. You know what, let's do this for everyone. And let's see if that works. This is the first time I've done this on this save. And well, that's a little bit better. Now, most of the team is motivated. Come on, we can win this. 51 minutes gone in the game. They have thrown the ball back to us. And now, can Ramadan get onto this first? No, he can't. It goes to Said, And he whips the ball into the box. Their man, that's their man, so, and he's offside, surely. Yeah, he was. So we've got a man sure playing up front for both teams. That's not confusing, is it? And now from that free kick, Torfik again has gone long. Abdul Wahab nods it down. Reader has it. He's got a striker in space. He needs to pass it. Mansour passes it first time. Ramadan! Yes! 1-0 to the Coca-Cola, boys. Ramadan with a very nice goal there. First time effort. It was all a bit long ball, old school, Wimbledon, Stoke, whatever you want to say. But it was perfectly done. Ah, oh, very, very nice. Come on, one more goal and I might get a prediction right for once. Okay, we've got 20 minutes left to go in the game. We've just made a couple of changes. Mansour, the youngster, he's coming off the pitch. He's done nothing today. Probably my fault for leaving him is still being available for the reserves. That I have corrected. That's not going to be happening anymore. And so he's come off the pitch for El Sami. And then we have got uh, Siam. Siam, I think that's his name, coming on on the left-hand side for Reader. I'm feeling confident. I think we're going to see this game out, boys. And well, there you go. No highlights after those substitutions. And we have got a win. And it's looked comfortable. Sabine have not troubled us. So I think we are making great strides over where we was towards the end of last season. We've got the win. 1-0 to the Coca-Cola boys. 10 shots. 2 there, 13. 4 on target apiece. Very level on the XG. So... Even though to the, to the human eye it looked like we was comfortable, it looks like a very, very even game if you look at the stats. But we've got the win, even though they had 57% of the ball. That's something I want to work on. I want us to keep the ball a little bit better. But 1-0 win. I am very happy with that. And so this is going to be a very short video. I bet you boys and girls are happy about that. I'm going to go, good win boys, well done, and we shall see where that leaves us in the league table, and then decide when we're coming back, and I'll be back with you for, it, for that in a second. And so, here we are guys, we are 7th in the league, after 9 games played. What a phenomenal start to the season this has been for us. We was predicted to finish 13th, but... I think we're going to do a lot, lot better than that. And in fact, you know what? Taking inspiration from Zilla Blitz, I'm going to ask you guys in the comments, let me know where you think we're going to finish in the league. 
Not points total. I don't want to nick his idea completely. But just let me know where in the league you think we are going to finish. And I'll come up with some sort of prize for in-game. For something you guys can do. So let me know where you think we're going to finish. I'm going to put a prediction. Surely it's not going to keep going this well. I'm going to say ninth. I think we're going to finish ninth. But let me know where you guys think we're going to finish. And so, where else are we going to come back for? I think... I think we come back for, for this game. Away against Zed. Z-E-D. Because they are on a 30 or 31 game unbeaten run at the moment. So, I would like to see how we do against them. I think that could be very, very interesting. So that's the one we're going to come back for. And yep, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content, Total Extreme Wrestling content, and a whole lot of other stuff that we're going to have coming to the channel. And follow me on Twitter, at TaylorMadeGaming. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.